Life is a winding road. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This vlog is gonna be all about getting ready for the vlog, the days leading up to it, and everything that we have to do to make sure that us and the kids are all set. I actually went to my girl Crystal last Friday and I got my hair done. So I have my hair all done for vacation. Hey, You're so silly, let me say hi. And then on Sunday, we decided to take the kids to Storybookland. That way they had like a day at like an amusement park and we got to spend time with them the Sunday before we left. And then last night was 4th of July, so we took them to the some fireworks. It was so cute. I've been trying to do a little bit every single day so that way on Saturday, the day before we leave, we're not stressing because my aunt is actually having a Christmas in July party. A lot of my family's gonna be there, so we did not want to miss that. So today's gonna be a pretty easy day. So today's Wednesday. I'm gonna focus on just cleaning up the house a little bit. One thing that I wanna make sure that happens is that we're able to empty out the fridge so we're like we're getting there so i have one more meal prep meal that i can do should be good for wednesday thursday friday and saturday i want to make sure we use everything up and whatever we don't use up i'm actually going to take it to my mom's house i'm going to split it between my mom's house and my sister-in-law house because that's where the kids are mainly going to be staying so the kids have like a full itinerary themselves next week and that's the main reason why we feel comfortable leaving them is because we know that they're, they're in good hands and they're going to be okay so another thing that i want to do today is just finish packing i'm doing an entirely separate pack with me video where i share literally everything that i packed for our first cruise probably see that video before this one so it should already be out so go check it out the house has been a hot mess it's been a while since i vlogged maybe like three weeks to a month we have been sleeping in the living room because our ac pipes froze and we haven't been able to get the ac on since we have somebody coming in today to check it out and hopefully it's something quick and easy that he could fix if not it's just gonna have to wait until we come back from vacay unfortunately so so yeah so i'll vlog here and there showing you guys what we're doing in preparation for our first week-long vacation without the kids that could be more excited all right i tried to clean up the kitchen as much as possible but these little kids they just keep making a mess <laughs> i turn around and there's more of a mess i did the best i could do so i'm making that chicken and broccoli recipe that i told you guys on my grocery haul so i'm gonna make that now it's only 9 57 so i'm gonna see if i can make it before tommy's lunch break so that way he can come home to eat not gonna lie y'all this smells so good oh my gosh i've already tasted one piece of the chicken and it's so good so i'm gonna make the white rice now and then start prepping everything all right got my white rice boiling but they really don't want me to do anything today. They just keep fighting over and over and over again. Oh, and yeah, Melina got a haircut. Let me see your haircut, lady. She looks crazy now, but I promise it looks cute when it's all done. And here it is. Excuse the kids screaming in the background. But I was able to fill in for six. And then I'm about to tear mine up right now. It's the next day. Um, so yesterday, I really didn't do much towards the actual cruise. Sorry, I had to throw the shirt on because the kids dirtied my other shirt. So now I look crazy i checked us in to the cruise and then it said that we needed to print out um, all of these papers but ahead of time have the luggage tags that they give us on our luggage before we even arrive apparently they take our luggage first and then we park so i got my little setup right here i'm gonna print everything out my suitcase is still about 95 percent packed so i'll probably finish doing that later today too because tommy took my car to go get it checked out because we are taking my car to drive up to new york so we just want to make sure that everything is cool with it what happened baby <laughs> No. Okay. I'll be right back. Friday night. We've done nothing today other than I got my nails done. Look how cute. So freaking cute. I love it. It was finally cool enough in our room for Tommy to pack his suitcase. And look how neat his suitcase is compared to mine. And if you watched my pack with me video, you see that my my suitcase is like a hot mess i literally just threw everything in there and his is all nice and neat and he's even steaming it before putting it in there that's nice <laughs> that's all that i did today oh, that's for the cruise um tomorrow is a big day tomorrow we have to do the grocery shopping for the kids pack the kids backpacks and make sure that everything for the kids is set because they will be sleeping over my mom's house because we have to wake up super early on sunday so good morning it's saturday morning so that means there's one more day until our cruise so i did my hair this morning i'm sorry i can get it out the way because we're going to that party later that i was telling you guys about but i wanted to prepare the kids uh bags for each of the houses so they're going to like five different places in total throughout the week and then everybody's gonna have their own walmart bag that we're also gonna drop off at everybody's houses so that way they already have it so my sister-in-law doesn't have to like worry about packing something new every single day so i put extra clothes for both of them and some of them i put like swimwear because some of them have pools just in case this is gonna go to my sister-in-law's house this is where they're mainly gonna be sleeping over at so i gave her a bunch of diapers and wipes um gonna go to my grandma's house gonna go to my mom's house which is like has bathing suits extra clothes and a lot more diapers this is filled with just their socks 
shoes, extra diapers, extra wipes, and like some sun care and their lotions and stuff. So these are the clothes that they're gonna be wearing for the rest of the day. And then these are their bags of clothes. Um, I packed him all of his favorite shorts, t-shirts, and his pillow. And then for Melena as well. So Tommy is currently at the barber shop getting his beard shaped up. As soon as he comes home, we're gonna get the kids dressed, go take them to my mom's house, and then we're gonna both go get our pedicures done. And then we're gonna go to Walmart, get all the stuff, finish packing these bags, and then go to everybody's houses to drop these bags off. I will never show you guys my toes. But here we are, we're getting our pedicures done. We got the groceries, y'all. We're at my sister-in-law's house. We're gonna start bagging in the individual ones because we already have everything here. <laughs> got the bags all packed. Look at all these snacks, oh my gosh. Like this is way more than enough for one day, but if they start acting up, just throw a snack at them. Basically, that's what we want. All right, so we've been running around like crazy, like literally driving around everywhere. So we have two more bags that we have to drop off and then we're gonna go to my aunt's house. So yeah, it's been a crazy day. Playing over there, and the guys are playing basketball. Hmm? We're playing the white elephant game. It's a bubble machine. Whoa. I got a hat you got. I made out good, but then Tommy got his switched out, so he ended up with a pack of white bees, but it's okay. All right, so we made it to the terminal. That's the ship there. But we passed the luggage drop-off area, so now we have to drag our luggage back over there. It's not a far walk, because we got here early, so we're in like the second row. But we gotta go back to the car, because we got here four hours earlier than our check-in time. But we wanted to get here earlier, anyway, so. They just had like, these little caddies, and then they take it for you. We ended up coming to the bathroom. In case you're wondering, there is a trailer right in the front. You don't even have to go through the terminal yet. There's a trailer with bathrooms in it. Thank God. There was an ice cream truck right over here in front of the boat. So we just got some ice cream just to, you know, keep us occupied for the next two hours. Tommy left me for two seconds to go use the bathroom, but they just made an announcement that boarding is open for all. So we don't have to wait in the car no more. It's 12.20. We're in line. We finally made it past check-in. It took an hour and a half. They had technical difficulties and their Wi-Fi shut off. So we got stuck for like 15 minutes and it was so hot. Oh, we're on our way going up the boat. Ooh, I can't even talk. We're on our way to the boat. Water view. It is raining a little bit. It's raining. Saya, Saya. Beautiful. This looks so nice in person. Oh, our luggage is already here. Okay. You can see our car from here. Look at it. It's right there. Securely fitted, and then the whistle and the light. Oh, oh. 